Okay, so Good. the chicken is steaming nicely in there, okay? Infused with the rice wine, the spring onions, the ginger, and those Alexandra seeds, the nutty Alexandra garlic. seeds. I've crushed some garlic, okay? So I'm just going to make a dressing in with, you know, the usual suspects, Chinese cooking, garlic, ginger, chili. Okay, so Lovely. grated ginger in there. And some light soy sauce, just about a tablespoon. A little bit of sesame oil. Again, a little bit of nuttiness to kind of complement the Alexandra seeds. Um, I've got here some groundnut oil. Now, of course, you can use olive oil if you like, but I also use groundnut oil and as well. And groundnut oil is a very a, for dressing, Yeah, ingredient. And also yeah. great for salad dressings. So about a good four tablespoons in there. Okay, just going to give this a good stir in. So it's kind of like a... Yeah, it's like a spicy kind of dressing. Spicy dipping sauce. It, exactly. Oh, now she's going to put that in. Dressing and dipping sauce. Now it's going to go in. Yeah. Should I be careful not put too yeah, much? Yeah, I think so. It's very, very strong. Because um, it kind of reminds me of an intense kumquat kind of flavour. Oh, yeah. So I kind of figured maybe a tablespoon of that in there and just kind of taste and see. Tablespoon? Yeah, a tablespoon. Is that too much? <laughs> I'm judging by these few berries I put in there, yes. I'm going to, for a different kind of level of um, zing and sour, I'm going to put in half a lime juice in there. And a lime juice she's putting yeah. in there, Matt. Lime really? juice as Just well. Yeah, see, so it was even more zesty. But um, since I, I think it kind of balances out. You know, we're calling this market well. kitchen big adventure. It's a big adventure. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're going to get until you cook it. <laughs> okay, a pinch of sugar there, just to kind of slightly balance the tartness. And then a little bit, of, again, of the cracked... Alexandra seed. Remember to remove the outer husk, toast it so it's lovely and nutty. Otherwise, if you keep the outer husk of the Alexandra seed in and you toast it, it can be a little bit bitter right. once it's burned, okay? So it's nice, nice and nutty. The smell of it is lovely. They should make candles out of that as well because it yeah. smells so fantastic. It is lovely. Matt's okay, set. that's finished. How's Matt? Oh, is he finished? Yeah. Okay, I've got to speed up. I'm right. nearly there. Just need to plate up now. I need to get the chicken out. I'll move out the way so that I don't disturb you. And I'll go and check what's going on over here. Oh, Ching's okay. even sprinkling them on the top. <laughs> She's just going mad for them. Uh, sorry. The buckthorns. <laughs> I love oh, them. Gosh. If they're good for your skin, they must be good for your body. So oh, let's just have well. How as much as possible. Little, um, salmon eggs, you know, you get yes. sometimes little jewels kind of scattered over the top. Just Okay, oh, so... Oh, this is so pretty. I don't want to eat it. So there you go. That was the steamed chicken with the buckthorn dressing and Alexandra seeds. Just garnish that with some fresh orange segments for an even fruitier punch. And that is my Kent-inspired steamed chicken with Alexandra seeds and sea buckthorn dressing. <laughs>